Um, his new memoirish release, Here Comes Trouble, gives us a look into what makes this cultural icon tick. We cannot express how very honored we feel to have him here with us today, and I know you agree. Please join me in welcoming Michael Moore. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me just say, before we start the, the signing here, uh, just a couple words about the book. I love uh, reading short stories, and I wanted to write a book of short stories. And uh, my main motivation for writing this book was to give you a few hours or days of pleasure of some good writing. And I, I say that with all the nuns in my head uh, that are always swimming around, who taught us to always try to aspire to great literature in whatever uh, we wrote. And, uh, and so I spent a lot of time, I poured a lot of myself into this, to write 24 short stories. I've never seen a book of nonfiction short stories, so that's why I decided to write a book of nonfiction short stories, and they're based on events in my life. I begin the book with the epilogue of what will be the next volume. So this, this only goes up to, it starts with me on the cover at 13 months old there, um, and ends with me on the day that I delivered my first film to the lab uh, to make the first 16 millimeter print to take to the first film festival, Roger and me, I'm standing out in front of the lab in New York City. So all the stories take place pretty much between those two events, with the exception of the first one, which I talk about what happened to me after the Oscar speech uh, that I gave, and, and making and the next year making Fahrenheit 9-11, and the things that Glenn Beck and Bill O'Reilly and others said over the airwaves to encourage people to commit acts of violence against me. And for the first time, I, I talk about all of these acts of violence in, in the book um, because I um, am able to now, I guess. I guess that's the answer to that. But also because I think that uh, the hatred and the vitriol that you mentioned that they put out there uh, needs to be confronted and exposed uh, for what it is. So anyway, so there's, so there's various uh, stories in here about how I got elected to the Board of Education, and uh, I went to the seminary in high school to be a Catholic priest, and I don't talk about the whole year that I spent at the seminary, but there's a story in here of one night when the, a priest there decided to show some of his boys how to do an exorcism. And then there's a, there's a uh, short story in here called Parnassus, and um, it's, uh, it begins when I lived here in uh, San Francisco up on Parnassus, about three doors down from the UC Medical Center up there in the Upper Haight. And, and how being here for the nine months that I was here uh, was a real turning point in my life. And there never would have been a Roger Me, there wouldn't have been any of these films had I not spent those nine months here. Uh, <laughs> now, I didn't know that at the time, but I, I started thinking about it. And so I write this story about how when I was unemployed here, I was in a bookstore like this, the mag I was looking at the magazine rack. There was an ad in some magazine by the Department of Commerce saying that the Department of Commerce was putting on a, a seminar for business owners in Acapulco to help them move production to Mexico. And this is in 1986. And so I get the, I sort of get, I get the idea of uh, uh, pretending to be a businessman, dressing up to be a businessman. Uh, my wife and I went to some thrift shop here in San Francisco and bought a, a yellow seersucker suit to wear in Acapulco. <laughs> and, uh, and I got some corporate looking jewelry out on the street corner uh, down in the Tenderloin. <laughs> and flew down to Acapulco from here and did not realize that I was entering what was essentially a big meeting of corporate types to make the master plan of how to close down production in the U.S. and move it to places like Mexico. And so I write about that uh, in this book, that I was sort of present at one of the first meetings of deciding how to destroy the middle class uh, in, this, in this country. Um, so anyway, so I, I hope you enjoy this book. I really, um, it's, a, it's, a, you know, it's a obviously a very personal uh, thing to me. I'm sure you all have your stories to tell. And in fact, if you have a short story that you'd like to share with me, I have a little contest on my website uh, where I've asked people to submit short stories under 3,000 words. 
and I'm going to take the, what I find, the ones I find the most entertaining or enjoyable together, and I'm going to put them together and get them published one way or another, or another here sometime next year of other people's stories, because I think we all have these stories in our lives. It was really cathartic for me to write uh, some of this down, and so I'm going to do that. The other thing I'm doing on the tour is supporting our local libraries and encourage, encouraging people to support their local libraries. Um, it, all right, uh, give yourselves a big hand. Thank you very much for coming out. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the day. Thank you. Thank you.